Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Today I want to talk about the new Protovire armor set in Warframe and how to level it up pretty fast. It is the newest, really, uh, market cosmetic in the game and it is beautiful. It has a gimmick where, well, you buy it from the market, 310 platinum for the bundle if you want, and you have to level up the armor sets twice. I know, crazy, right? Let's take a look in the market. I think it's right here, a Protovire Evolved Collection. So the armor itself evolves, it levels up. As you can see here, the shoulder, the chest, and the leg plate armor requires you to defeat sentience to actually like unlock the two additional parts. The Protovire Ephemera requires you to earn focus with this Ephemera equipped to unlock the two additional looks. So yeah, make sure you do have everything equipped on your Warframe, right? And then the Protovire Scientana, collect relics or Aya with this Scientana equipped to unlock two additional looks. So this will mean you need to get 15 Aya or Relics, and then it'll unlock the second tier for the Protovire Cyandana. Then you will need to unlock, I think it's 95 Aya or Relics, and then it'll get the final form, or maybe it's 70, I can't fully remember. For the Protovire Ephemera, I think you need 250,000 Focus, and then 500,000 Focus to get the like second tier, the fully upgraded Regal, whatever it may be called, I can't remember. And then for all of these, you need to kill, I think it was 95 Sentience, and then 375 sentience. And when you do, when it's all done, you'll be looking like this mad lad right here. Well, no, this is all the basic tier one. I will show you what some of the stuff looks like. Don't worry. I myself, not done upgrading everything yet, as you can see. I have it on ya boy. I threw it on a Caliban a little bit but I also threw it on Saren. So as you can see here, the appearance is as follows. Cool shoulders, cool back ephemera. Let me upgrade everything to make sure it's the proper Protovire Emergent Cyandana. That is the tier two. Okay, that requires 75 relics and Aya gained to unlock. Simplest way to do this is just run fast void captures. Other than that, you can always run, uh, well, bounties for Aya, right? Beautiful, 10 out of 10, looks good. Let's see how the ephemera is doing. Do I have the proper ephemera on? Yep. See, it requires 250,000 focus gained in order to, to get that one. And uh, we will, we will soon enough. Oh, it's the apex. So this is the only thing I've fully completed so far because I made sure to get this one done as the other two will just come after I play the game a little bit. The Protovire Emergent chest armor, regular chest armor. As you can see, it just gets progressively larger and more uh, just beautiful, right? You have to just kill sentience with these. Simple enough, right? There are a lot of places to kill sentience, but there are certain places which are very good to kill sentience. Sentience mainly spawn on Lua. They spawn in Railjack. They spawn in a couple like niche missions here and there, but it's mainly Lua and Railjack these days, right? If you didn't know, right now, the fastest way to really get them all killed, I would say is Octavia's Anthem quest, Octavia's Anthem Hunhao quest fight, or the just Orphix fights themselves, right? Realistically, you can go wherever there are sentience. You can even kill the sentience on uh, Cetus, the like little Vomvalis, right? So you can technically fight, I think it's still any real sentience, right? But there are certain methods that are faster, certain methods that are slower. If you like doing Eidolons, go for it. If you don't like doing Eidolons, might be a waste of time, right? For focus farming, I am just going to be running ESO, fast leveling my focus there. Focus is primarily dependent on how much you can kill quickly and the level of your focus lenses. I'm bad, so all my focus lenses are like really, really low level ones, so it's gonna take me a little bit. Other than that, where can you kill sentience quickly? There are really two ways, right? 
Oh, uh, three, I should say. Two in a sense, but three. First off, just straight up doing Railjack. Doing anomalies in the Veil Proxima will take you ages. You can do that, but it's not recommended. Again, you should just straight up run Orphix missions if you want to go the route of running Railjack. Each Orphix spawns, I think, four or five sentience, and what, like doing a 50 minute run of an Orphix will easily pretty much just fully upgrade your uh, second piece of protovire armor. So it's good to just run that. I'm not a huge Orphix guy, okay? But you can also get really good loot like arcanes in the Orphix. So, hey, I thought I'd bring this up. It is a really good way as well, okay? It's just, I myself don't really care for Orphix. So the other really good methods are running the Octavia's Anthem quest and then getting to the second song chord, right? You have to find the second song fragment. During this mission, you will just want to endlessly kill all of the sentience that you possibly can. I'll throw up some stream footage where I was doing just that. So in theory, sentience should kind of endlessly spawn on this mission, but for me, they weren't endlessly spawning. So I got about 50 or so sentient kills, right? If they do endlessly spawn for you on this mission, that's good. You'll get a lot of sentience kills really fast. If not, you may have to do the method of jumping out and aborting the mission and then jumping back in. Since leveling up the protovirus stuff is a challenge technically, you still get progress no matter where if you abort the mission, jump out, right? You do not have to complete the mission in order to get progress, right? You just have to get the progress in the mission and it'll actively save no matter what, right? Just you know, got to remember to quit the mission eventually. So keep that in mind. Once you jump out of the mission, you'll get mail that gives you the next upgraded part of the protovire armor, and then you'll swap it to that, and then vice versa, bada bing, bada boom, you fully upgraded the protovire armor. You cannot buy the max ranked protovire armor, right? You do have to unlock it. So keep that in mind, okay? You can't just skip to the max rank version of anything. Sorry to say. So this is one of the really good methods. The other one, the other really good method, hilariously enough, you do have to go to Cephalon Suda and it is also the Octavia Anthem quest, right? Go to any relay and go to Cephalon Suda and you will want to restart the Hun Hao final quest boss and I'll show you how to do just that quickly. Once you actually get to this area, you just want to run over here to your boy Cephalon Suda and then start Incident Archive 231H. That is the Hun Hao boss fight. You'll want to do the first part of the boss fight, right? Which is just jumping around and getting the Octavia's Anthem played. Do that part as fast as possible. The second part is where we will be farming the sentience. This is the personal method I used. It's a very lazy, simple, and easy method. Try to equip a weapon that has an infinite amount of ammo as you cannot get ammo other than maybe using a uh, Proteus dispensary and things like that. You can also not go into like void operator mode, right? So you can't uh, Xenoric energy gain there. So just bring something like the Psychron with infinite ammo. If not, you'll have to melee if you do run out of ammo. It's up to you, okay? But this is the method I personally used. Once I got to the second stage, I noticed that the sentience primarily spawn on the Octavia Anthem notes that were on the board. So, to make sure I got them all spawning right close to me so I wouldn't have to move that much, I knocked out the Octavia Anthem's notes in a decent range around where I would be camping, and then I just had a cluster in the middle of Octavia Anthem notes, like four notes, right, where the sentience would spawn. I noticed this mid-mission, right, that the sentience would be spawning on these notes themselves, right? They generally wouldn't spawn randomly too much, but they can still spawn randomly here and there. That's the weird, funny thing about that, right? So generally, just uh, get it done. You should be good to go once you get that little cluster of notes there, right? 
Once you get that little cluster of notes, you are 100% good to go. Just chill there. A sentient should spawn every one to five or so seconds. Sometimes it'll take a little bit longer. Sometimes one or two will spawn at the same time within like seconds or two of each other. It takes a little bit of time, but you do not, again, have to complete the mission. Once you kill all of the sentients and it says challenge complete, protovire armor unlocked, you can just straight up jump out, abort the mission, and grab the protovire armor. And again, it'll show up in your mailbox, right? The protovire armor itself won't upgrade in your inventory. It'll send you out the first tier upgrade and then finally second tier upgrade. If you ever want to track the progress, if you're not too sure, just go look at the appearance of the item you want to track. So the appearance of the ephemera, and it'll tell you how much focus, how many relics, or how many sentients need to be killed. Again, you can use any method you truly want, right? This is Warframe. It doesn't actually matter do whatever you want especially if you have other stuff to farm but generally the orphix mission fast easy way to kill sentience you can do eidolons i know people like doing those still fast but probably not the fastest method then there's octavia's anthem the two methods that i showed you those are generally the fastest ways for focus you can run eso just farm high level grenier survivals right and just slaughter enemies as long as you possibly can you can use the stealth affinity method i don't ever really do any of that and I am not great with it so can't really show you how to do that properly but you can do it if you want but I don't find that fun so again farm however you'd like do whatever you need to do but those are the general fast farming methods I would use to level the protovire armor cosmetics thank you all for watching subscribe like share out my videos or content if you'd like to support the channel you can always join any of my socials like my twitch at twitch.tv slash popscare where again I'll stream randomly like on all of my other social media so again thank you all for watching sub like and I will see you next time peace